From Wise Bus Stories, Flowers in the Street. This is episode three World Naked Bike Ride. Yep, guess who got to see the PDX World Naked Bike Ride? Not one, <laughs> not two, <laughs> but three years in a row. You guessed it, yours truly. I had made a video earlier tonight about the world perfect world naked bus bike ride. I said bus ride, world naked bus ride. That would be something. World naked bike ride. But the YouTube flag video because I violated terms of nudity. So they, for violating terms of nudity, they took that video down. So there will be no images of the world naked bike ride here in Portland. Didn't know. Sorry about that. Just tell you what happened. I was doing line four, <laughs> really line four, which has now been turned into line two. But those of us who ride line four, that's right, F-O-E, know that that route is more your foe than your friend more often than not. It is notorious for incidents, delays, from drivers not showing up, and Oh, all kind of crazy incidents. You have to call the police. Violent incidents. You have to kick, 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 kick people off the bus. So, this particular day, I had about, about a dozen young men from the ages of 16 to 21. And I had about four or five people in the middle of the bus. Well, about two or three in the front and about a couple in the middle, to be exact. And it was about four or five in the afternoon. I got a message over the BDS. The bus dispatch system, the computer, said that the PDX World Naked Bike Ride was about to be in motion. And sure enough, I got to Rose Quarter Transit Center. I'm heading uh, eastbound. I'm the faux fessident about to go to Rose Quarter Transit Center and turn into the Fort Division. However, when I arrive at that light at the intersection where I cross over to get to the bus stop where you can then transfer to several other bus lines or the max train. Far as the eye can see, booties and boobies on bikes, on skates, skateboards, walking, little trailers, got their children, got their pets. I mean, it was, it was just, it was unreal. After about the first 100, 200 people that you see, they start not looking real. They don't even look like human bodies anymore. They look like dolls, mannequins. Some of those mannequins look like Barbie and Ken dolls. And some of them was, you know, just regular, ordinary people like us. You know, got a little, got a little pouch or some of them had a big pot belly and cellulite hanging all down past their knees. They didn't care. They was free. They was free riding out there, y'all. These young hooligans, and yes, I'm dating myself. I'm an old lady. I said hooligans. These hooligans lost their minds. They started rocking the bus so hard that it was going back and forth. They was jumping up and down. Hey, man, hey, man, look at that. Ooh, look at the tits on that one, man. Grabbing their private parts, jumping up and down. And I knew they was going to ask me to leave to get off the bus. I was parked in a center lane. I wasn't up against a curb lane, so it wouldn't have been safe to let them out even though traffic wasn't moving. Plus, there was a TriMet supervisor about 45 or 50 feet away from me watching me. You open them doors and you let them out, you violating company policy and you could be automatically terminated, baby. And I was not about to let that happen. <laughs> so some young hooligans that didn't know how to act, 
go look at a world naked bike ride that they didn't even know was happening in the first place. And then I done lost my job. So he asked me to open the door. Open the door, A.T., and I'm so sick of people calling me A.T. on the bus. Young and fine as I look. So I can't open the door, young man. It's in it's a lane of traffic right there. It's against the law. Come on, A.T., open the door. I wanna, I'm wanna. i getting ready to get off at the next stop anyway. I don't want to miss my train. Yeah, we don't want to miss our train. And plus, I want to watch the naked bike ride. Yeah, word. We want to watch the naked bike ride. Let us out. Quit playing. Sir, I can't. I really can't let you. Then he starts kicking the door. Finally, boom. Bitch, let me out. Yes, there was a moment of silence there on purpose. That's exactly what happened to me inside, okay? I was like, did this young man just call me a bitch and demand me to let him out? But see, I'm not a bus driver, I'm a transit operator. <laughs> so I didn't uh, I didn't react, you know, I kept my cool. I said, see, young man, please don't make me have to call the police. Because these days, you don't know what the police is going to do if they come out here. They might take you to jail and drag you off in handcuffs. You might lose your night. They might tase you. They might shoot you. They might, I don't know. I don't want to go through all that. All you got to do is wait for the naked bike ride to be over. And I'll go through the light. You get out the bus stop and you can, you're on foot. You can, you know, keep up with them and walk with them then. I'm not going to open these doors no matter what you do. If you keep kicking the door, I'm going to have to call the police on you. I don't want to have to do that. So could you chill out? Basically. That's what I said to him. Something to that effect, you know? So they continue to watch the bike ride. They're back there murmuring about it. And, you know, open the door, but tell me I'm no, no, right, man. All that little murmuring and stuff, you know, just loud enough. I can't hear everything they're saying, but loud enough for me to know that they're they're talking about me and they're pissed. Time goes by. And to be honest, y'all, I couldn't tell you. It's been so many years ago. I couldn't tell you if it was two hours or an hour. But I do remember that year that it was like 14, 15,000 people in the PDX world naked bike ride. Did I watch them all? Hell no. I put my head in my hands. I looked at my lap. I just, I just felt so mortified. I wasn't prepared for to see anything of that magnitude in my life. Now, I'm not speaking for everybody's experience. I'm only speaking out of the volumes of my own. But it was a bit much. It was overkill, y'all. It was, woo, man. But when it finished, going on with the story, I let him out. And they was, thanks, A.T., sorry about that and everything. But look like it's almost over now. Yeah, man, how we gonna keep up? And all that other stuff they got on off the bus. But I got cussed out, kicked. And I'm not doing this story no, no justice because I got threatened. Kicked the doors. Didn't budge. If you'd like to know more information about the PDX World Naked Bike Ride, I put a link down below. Sorry, I didn't have no images on that one. This this story, y'all. The, <laughs> the images were so cool. <laughs> Thanks for sharing my story with me. Got more stories about things that happen at the World Naked Bike Ride. Cause like I said, I was there three years in a row. Tres años. I don't know if somebody had me lined up like that on purpose or if the stars weren't aligned in my favor and I just had bad luck or what. But I had to sit through it three years in a row. I don't know if the next story is going to be about the Naked Bike Ride or not. But I, actually, I have a pretty good idea what the next story is going to be about. You want to know? Subscribe now!